Hey guys, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Greetings. Hope everyone's having some clear skies and getting a lot of imaging done. Uh, thanks very much for all the subscribers and uh, thank you for all the likes. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, let's look at, uh, in this video, we're going to look at the uh, Blink uh, comparison uh, that's in within PixInsight. Um, and that allows you to uh, preview your, your light frames, your subs, um, and analyze them before you actually do any calibration or stacking or any processing. Um, basically, you can eliminate bad frames uh, from the equation. Now, in order to find that, we're going to go to process, all processes, and we go to blink. It's right there. So we click on that and it opens up the blink window. Then we can uh, click uh, to add the images that we want. Now, I'm just going to use uh, some uh, some uh, horse head and flame uh, nebulae uh, images that uh, I acquired. These are light frames, so nothing was done to them yet. They haven't been calibrated, uh, nothing. And uh, it'll be a good example as to what you can do with uh, the blink uh, routine. Um, so here we're going to load them in and it's going to do, it's going, what it will do first of all is it will um, do an auto stretch. Um, it'll calculate a single auto stretch and apply it to all the images. The same auto stretch would be applied to all the images. Now, um, that's usually not going to work for you because if we look here, when I change, when I go to the next different images, um, you can see that there's varying brightness occurring and that's not going to help us analyze uh, those uh, light frames uh, for their quality. So what we want to do is we want to uh, select the top button which is apply an automatic histogram transformation to all images now what that does is it applies it calculates an individual auto stretch for all of the individual images and that's the one that we want to do so we're going to click on that and it's going to go through an auto stretch each image individually so now if we go back and look we don't have any varying brightness occurring we can actually see the the details that we want to see in the image um, so okay so now we've got that done and uh, we can zoom in here and just have a look at our image uh, what we're going to notice in one thing that you can do is zoom in on your stars and you can check them out see if they're nice uh, nice and tight round um, or if you have any uh, problems with tracking or uh, guiding that uh, that might have uh, created some egg-shaped uh, stars or uh, ruined your image um, you're going to quickly be able to see it here as you flip through so you can just sort of click on the images and uh, you can have a look at each one individually and determine if it's uh, suitable for use within your uh, processing work flow now uh, what we can notice here is the the blue frame is fine this green frame is fly, is fine this green frame though um, obviously we can see some uh, uh, guiding problems were happening and we've got some egg, sa egg shaped stars uh, which we don't want to include so we want to get rid of that one we don't want it in in the mix and the way that we do that in the blink uh, routine is to uh, go to the move selected file to a new location. Unfortunately, you just can't mark it bad um, and have it automatically removed. But um, we can we can remove it from the mix of uh, files, and we do that by going to the move selected file to a new location option, and we click on that. And uh, I'm just going to go back to my horse head and flame data here, night four that was from. So. This is where it was from. Now, what I'm going to do is make a new uh, folder in there. This is where the light frames were located. And I'm going to make a new folder in there. And that new folder, I'm just going to call bad for bad frames. And we will select that as the folder to place. And now it's done that. So PixInsight, after I uh, told it to move this file, it's moved it to the bad folder and uh, it's no longer part of the other light frames and we can uh, see that if we go to that folder where we have the uh, the other light frames but in the bad folder bad directory we have that single light frame of uh, the green channel that um, had the egg-shaped stars to it so it's removed it from from our um, uh, good light frames um, that's that's excellent. 
Now, once you're done uh, analyzing your individual frames and determining which ones are good and which ones are bad, the uh, process is complete at that point and um, you can simply close off the images. You can remove all of the images by clicking the close all images button and that'll remove them and then you can close the blink window. You can now go on to uh, calibrate your images uh, using the uh, batch uh, pre-processing uh, routine that's in Pixinsight and I have a video that I did and it uh, explains how to use this uh, tool so that you can uh, uh, calibrate all your light frames using your flats, darks and bias frames. Uh, have a look at that. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers as I said and uh, if you haven't subscribed now's a great time to do it. Just click that button and uh, I hope everyone is uh, having a great time with the warmer weather happening in the Northern Hemisphere, getting your telescopes out there, getting some great imaging done, doing some astrophotography, and wishing you the clearest of skies. Happy stargazing. We'll see you in the next video.